Why does the world's biggest passenger jet almost feel unwelcome in the United States? Let me explain. The Airbus A380 is a flying giant so massive it can carry more people than an entire neighborhood. Yet despite this size advantage, it almost never lands on American soil. Here's the twist, it's not that US airlines hate big planes or dislike the A380, it is simply because unlike the rest of the world, America built a completely different aviation system. While Europe and the Middle East focused on mega hubs that funnel thousands of passengers into giant jets, the US designed a network that prioritizes speed, frequency, and flexibility. American, Delta, and United figured out early that one massive aircraft wouldn't be as profitable as several smaller ones. So instead of filling a 600-seat giant just twice a day, they chose to fly multiple 250-seat planes to more cities more often. For decades, this has been the core of the US aviation market. It prioritized more flights, more choices, more flexibility. Although the A380 was a stunning engineering masterpiece, it was also an airport's worst nightmare. It needed wider taxiways, reinforced runways, special double-deck jet bridges and huge parking stands. Upgrading a US airport to handle it could have cost additional hundreds of millions of dollars. That's why only a handful of airports like LAX, JFK, SFO and DFW can host it comfortably. Despite being rare in the US, the A380 became a global superstar. Airlines such as Emirates built their entire global strategy around it, connecting Dubai to almost every continent. Singapore Airlines, British Airways and Qantas also turned the A380 into their luxury flagship. The A380 was indeed a masterpiece, but just not the right fit for the way America flies. For more fascinating aviation updates like this, make sure to hit the subscribe or follow button so you never miss an update.